The Ever Given, one of the biggest cargo ships in the world, is sailing free again thanks to the work of some Canadian designed tugboats. Pushing a vessel of that size was a complex operation that required several diggers, dredgers, and over a dozen tugboats, six of which were designed in Vancouver. So how did these Canadian designed tugboats help free one of the largest container ships in the world? Here's a short recap of what happened. The Ever Given is a cargo ship nearly twice as long as the height of the CN Tower. It got stuck in the narrow waterways of the Suez Canal, a key shipping route which connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. That caused a backlog of more than a hundred other cargo ships, setting off a chain reaction of global supply chain shortages. The pressure was on. It took crews over six days to finally dislodge the massive ship. We asked the architects who designed the tugs to explain exactly how these small vessels were able to move something more than 10 times their size. The ship, when it came along, it hit uh, and ended up in a position kind of like this. So there was contact here um, and, and this, the bow here was, was quite well impaled on the side of the bank here. So the stern wasn't wedged on quite as hard as the bow was. Um, they had a couple of tugs here, they had a tow line and a tug sitting here and pulling this way. So the t this tug is pulling that way and then over here they had some tugs pushing this way. And I believe that there was a couple here, probably also had a tug here pulling this way and possibly even, you know, a tug here pushing that way. So there, it was a multi sort of pronged approach here. There's a lot of calculations that need to be done uh, in, this, in this situation. Um, the ship would have been um, uh, on, on the side of the sh canal quite heavily. Uh, it hit quite hard uh, and that would have forced it to rise up and lose buoyancy. So they will have had to have done calculations based on what they can see and how far it stick out of the water to enable them to calculate how much pull they're going to need to get it off. So how are tugboats able to push and pull vessels so much bigger than them? These little boats are very, very powerful. Um, for example, the ones that, uh, that we had designed for this, uh, in, in this operation um, have about 7,000 horsepower, uh, which is a lot of horsepower for a 100-foot uh, boat. They're locomotive engines. They're something that you would see in a train, for example, um, or a, uh, something like a large piece of earth moving equipment. Um, they are uh, bigger than your car. They are a little bit like bumper cars. Um, they do have very, um, very uh, extensive fender system uh, rubber around the bow of the, the tug, uh, which enables them to push against the ship without damaging the ship. The tugs have what's called an azimuthing propulsion system. Um, some people call them Z-drives. Um, essentially what it is is the propeller uh, unit that's underwater is able to rotate 360 degrees, and that enables them to thrust in any direction, and it makes them very maneuverable. How does the tugboat connect to the ship? Typically, um, the ship itself would lower down a smaller line, something that they could handle so that the men could handle um, easily. The tug crew would then attach their tug line, which tends to be quite a bit bigger and stronger because it has to handle the, uh, the pull of the tug. And then the ship crew would pull that up to the ship and attach it to um, a, a cleat or a bollard on the deck of the ship, and then the tug can pull directly from that. And what type of work do tugboats do in Canada? The tugboats used in Suez are highly specialized machines, but here on the West Coast, they're also a key part of several marine industries. There's lots of different types of tugs. Uh, there's a lot of tugs here in Vancouver Harbour that uh, assist ships into and out of the berths. So there are tugs that escort uh, ships through uh, the first narrows and through the second narrows and out into uh, Juan de Fuca Strait. We call those escort tugs. Um, they're, they're intent, they're designed to um, assist any ship that may lose steering or propulsion. Um, they're, they're really an emergency measure. Um, there's tugs that tow barges, tugs that tow log booms. Um, the, the, anything that needs to be pulled or pushed on the water is handled by a tug. It's nice to see our boats uh, get recognition. It's the kind of work that we, uh, that our tugs, our boats do every day. So uh, we were very proud to see what happened there. 
The ever given traffic jam put a strain on supply chains and held up an estimated 9 billion US dollars in global trade. High speed and foul weather have been blamed as possible causes for how the ever given got stuck, but the Suez Canal Authority and ship owners are still investigating exactly what happened.